We are the music makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Barbie is a toy, and also quite a bit more than a toy. She's a feminine symbol, maybe even an idol or a fetish object, and soon to be the latest nostalgia-baiting IP cash-out movie. In the interactions between these different functions, the image is produced, or what I'm calling the image, the Barbie image. It's part of a whole modern mythology repeated and ritualized enough times such that it becomes real. So I went to the movie theater, a, a ritual site of the ancient world, to consume another IP cash out film. And during the trailers, before the movie started, I caught a glimpse of a few frames that look like this. Welcome to the real world. Hmm, so reality itself has a boundary. I may not be the target demographic for this film, but when it comes to bounded reality allegory films, okay, Barbie, you have my attention. Side note, if the Barbie movie even looks in this direction, I will take back everything else I'm about to say. So I started checking out the film's marketing. They want to advertise this as a real film, a serious film, rather than you know, the Barbie movie. So their marketing team came up with this line. The script is the best I ever read. Instantly was like, show me the script right now, please. Read it, it, it ended, it's one of the best scripts I've, I've ever read. Probably the best script I've ever read. This is so good. She offered Brilliant. the role of Ken. Yes, best script I've ever read. So they wanna put this out there into the collective consciousness for the summer that this is a real film, more than just the Barbie movie. So keep up with me on this division here. A real film has acclaimed hipster writers. A mere cash out film could be written by chat GPT as I'm pretty confident this one was. Oh, and one more thing. It's teaser was an homage to what's indisputably a real film. See, marketing strategy is just associations or creating associations through sign exchange. And they're hoping some of that real film quality from 2001 rubs off on their IP cash out. This is the modern equivalent of casting a magic spell. Everyone sort of knows an image or an imitation, a copy when they see one, but there's still the question of what an image is and what's its relationship to the thing that it represents. No one has finally answered that, I don't think, despite working on it as a puzzle for you know, two and a half thousand years. But images do have various types. There are simulacra or concrete copies, then optical images like reflections, and then Importantly, there are mental images like dreams or fantasies. And for real, wars have been fought over images, so they can be dangerous. And today, of course, we got more of them now than ever. So many that it's hard to categorize what's a copy and what's an original anymore. So that brings us to Barbie itself, herself. Qua image, before the film even. Barbie already straddles reality's boundary. She's sort of a parody of girl's imagination and at once both ideal and ordinary, both witch and wench, sexy but sexless. She can even be... <laughs> All right, no way am I touching that. Nope. Anyway, as desire, Barbie is both the projection and the screen. This can be dangerous. Like, look for example what Barbie has done to this poor woman. She's completely lost touch with reality. Needless to say, Barbie the image is a huge deal. She's got like 98% image recognition. And more than that, even you can see the imaginary that she has produced looping on the screens. One of the best selling Barbies of all time is Malibu, 
Barbie. And hers is now the reality of the sunny California coast of reality TV, where America's image is perfected, finally, at the very edge of the last frontier. California is where America's fantastic images of itself are distilled, and Malibu Barbie is California's fantastic image fulfilled. At last, the last frontier. It's plastic, it's magic, fantastic, girl boss, and accessorizing. Lots of accessorizing. So this is the crucial question. Which here is copying which? Who is copying whom? Which is the imitation and which is the original? Are these images of anything at all? Or are they something more like a dream, spontaneously produced? I've heard them say that Barbie gives little girls something to dream about, and at least one person actually believes that's true. But you're not really supposed to believe that, though. It's just one of those things that everyone acts out like they believe. Like believing that the Barbie movie is a real film. But what Barbie does determine in advance is that the rest of that little girl's life will progress as a series of images. Barbie is not something to dream about because she is the dream that material fiction, that little fetish icon of the California coast as the site where all dreams are produced and reproduced and reproduced. The imaginary circuit here is already perfected images of images and they loop in self-reference. But this is my prediction. I haven't seen it yet. My prediction is that they're gonna try to mess with this perfection the perfection Barbie already has. Malibu Barbie is going to become self-aware Barbie. We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. She's going to explore nuance and depth and some existential desire to find her reality's glass ceiling. But don't worry, because she won't. She can't. Because to leave the California coast is to realize the whole rest of the world has disappeared in the meantime. The film has no real outside. It always comes first. Similarly, reality TV doesn't represent anything. So Barbie will drive down this highway only to realize that the real world is a desert, a ghost town. And to go anywhere is just to go back in the direction she came from. I do think this movie is gonna be an important cultural event though. It's gonna tell you, I'm guessing, that we don't really live in the pink Barbie land, California. No, we live in the real world, the, the complicated one. The thing is though, our complicated one, you know, the one that isn't pink, it's equally a fantasy emerging from a looping chain of media events where, you know, you find your best self and your desires are already all produced in advance by advertising slogans. So even if this movie tries to make Barbie a more relevant image by leaving some of the pink fantasy behind, ultimately, you know, it's just gonna exchange one regime of images for another regime of images. Look at this, look at this. This is in the new trailer. So this is her red pill, blue pill moment. You can go back to your regular life or you can know the truth about the universe. And what is the red pill? A product placement. That is unequivocally awesome. Your choice of reality comes down to a choice between products, and I love that. Yeah, Barbie land is not real, but neither is the real California coast. When Barbie leaves Barbie land, what she'll encounter is not reality, but film depictions that reference other media events, other films, as we already know, but also whatever is going on in the online discourse. You got to have that stuff in there. That's the stuff the critics will love. They'll call it a bold, new, fresh take on a feminist icon. And it'll probably give you a happy, though nuanced happy, ending with some comforting, reflective, 
pseudo feminist sales pitch that's by this point more real than real. Losing Barbie Land will be a little sad. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with these bloggers? Are you okay? Losing Barbie Land will be sad. Though if it is an event, um, if you wanna go so far as to call it an event, it'll be more like the Pompeii eruption where everything's frozen in place in one instant that's looped forever. Not in molten ash though, in plastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> Either that or we're all surprised and the Barbie film goes the Mulholland Drive route, which would be wildly unexpected. Best script I've ever read. Probably the best script I've ever read. And bonkers is, it, it does not even begin to, if only you knew. Can you imagine? I will offer a genuinely gleeful retraction if that's the case, Scout's Honor. But we'll have to see. If you want to watch a movie about California the Dream, watch Mulholland Drive instead of this one. That's it for this bite. Join these people. You don't just get your name on here. It's an active patron. There's stuff every single week and uh, a lot of exclusive videos you can find there too. Yeah, actually, next thing I am going to put up there is a longer explanation of how I got to the associations made in this video and the theory behind it more in depth. So I'll see you there if this is the kind of stuff that interests you. This has been your dose of plastic pills. Thank you for the click.